This video is sponsored by Artlist.io. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see how you can save on your annual subscription. Today I'm going to show you how to create a magic mask inside of DaVinci Resolve Studio. This basically has the same effect of a green screen, but you don't need a green screen and you can do it to any kind of footage. So let's get right into it. First off, we need to do everything to the clip like color grading and effects before we add the magic mask. So we're just going to grab a clip and put it on the timeline just like this. Now it popped up at the end, so we're just going to drag it all the way to the beginning and we can play back the clip. Awesome. Now we need to slow it down a little bit because, well, I recorded this at 60 frames a second and I want it in slow motion. So I'm just going to go down to speed change and hit 50%, just like that. Now we're gonna add a quick color grade to this clip before we add the magic mask. So we're just going to go into the color tab. We're going to search for color space transform, just like this, add it to the node. We're going to change our input color space to Canon Cinema Gamut and our input gamma to Canon Log 3. Okay, we're just gonna add a quick S curve, just like this. And then we're going to go into our HDR wheels, turn the lights into a more yellower look and the shadows into more of a blue look. There we go, just a quick grade, nothing important. I mean, this is just to add some color to it. Okay, now we're gonna go and do the real stuff. Then we're gonna add a new node with option S just like that and go down to the magic mask tool. Now automatically it selects with the plus icon so we're just going to drag the subject out like this. Just circle over it a bunch in all sorts of different ways, just like that. Now that it's done, we can just move it over just a tiny bit because I was a little off when I was drawing it. And then we're gonna click this button right here. That basically shows us what object is selected. Now we're going to go and change this from faster to better. Now, depending on the computer you have, you may not have enough compute power to use the better option. You may have to use the faster option, but because I have this Mac with M1 Max, um, I can do better and it works just fine. Now we're gonna skip all the refined details and everything like that, and we're just going to hit this icon right here. This will track the clip in both directions. So now it's tracking, and this will take uh, maybe a minute or two. It depends on the length of the clip. If you're doing a shorter clip from maybe five to 10 seconds, it's really short. This clip is around 40-ish seconds, so it'll take a little bit more time. Okay, now it's done tracking, so all we have to do is add an output alpha node. So just right click, add alpha output, and drag the little blue line to the little blue circle. And now we're done. We can go back to the timeline and our clip should be here. It is with the background removed. So we can just hit play and the clip will play just like that. Now, as you can see, there are some artifacts and depending on what you're doing with a certain clip, you'll have to adjust the settings. So let's walk through those real fast. Here we are on the color tab again and you can see we have different modes. So radius, consistency, blur radius, clean black, all those cool things. And we can also add more trackers. What I found works is usually just to add more trackers and to exclude other things. So let's go back to this node. Let's clear this with this little restart button and let's drag more mask. So we're just going to circle it like this. Now, what we're also going to do is use the minus tool. So once we have enough of him selected, we're just going to click this button right here and we're going to say exclude all of this from tracking. Be careful though, because if you do too much, it'll kind of break the whole thing and you'll have to restart from scratch. Awesome, and we're gonna track it again. Okay, now it's tracked. Now I accidentally let it track on faster instead of better, but let's just see how it looks. Let's go back to the timeline. We should be able to see, oh, there's our person and we could play it back and it's pretty good, although there are some more artifacts on the top of his hair from the faster and not better tracking. So we can retrack it better and get rid of all those little things and we can also use those extra features like the blur radius and all that stuff to shrink it just a little bit more. And now it's done tracking, so let's just go back to the edit and play it back. It looks awesome and let's walk through some of the use cases for this. The one that I usually use is putting text behind me just like this and that's pretty cool. Um, you can also just remove a subject and put a different background. Say if we just wanna use a generator and just Move this up a little bit and grab a generator, maybe like just a random one here. Like that, you could do something like that. And you can add video behind it. Um, if you wanna do text behind you, you can just duplicate the layer, put the text layer in between them and you're good to go. Um, so yeah, that's the UKs for this. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll answer those as soon as I can. Now that's pretty much it for this video, but before I go, I wanna tell you about our sponsor. Artlist, if you're a content creator like myself on YouTube or even have a large production company, you're going to need stock assets like music, sound effects, and footage. And Artlist is the best place to get that. With different plans starting with music and sound effects to Artlist Max with everything you need, Artlist is the place to go. If you wanna get two months for free on your annual subscription, check out the link below. Thank you to Artlist for supporting the channel and back to the video. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. If you wanna watch another video, there's one right over here and two below me. And let us know in the comment section down below what videos we should make next.